Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and Welcome to Abington, Illinois, where the Macomb Bombers are set to take on Argenta Oriana here in about nine minutes from Abington, Illinois. Good to have everybody with us. Welcome to Saturday Afternoon Hoops on the Bomber Sports Network. Still in the morning for about three more minutes, and then we'll be in the afternoon. The Bombers coming off a nice win last night in Liberty, preparing to face the Bombers of Argenta Oriana. It is the Bombers, and it's the Bombers. I think the Bombers are going to win this one. It's going to be a fun one. Welcome to the Great Western Shootout. More from Abington High School when we return. We'll set the scene, give you the starting lineups and more. It is the Great Western Shootout, and it is next on the Bomber Sports Network from Learfield. Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Alan Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber Athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyymca.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA, McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years or older. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. Westside Lumber of Macomb. Located at 1301 West Jackson Street in Macomb, Illinois. Shop Ace Hardware for your grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn, and garden tools. Westside Lumber, your helpful hardware place. Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. And welcome back to A-Town High School in A-Town, Illinois. Bombers and the Bombers getting set to get rolling here in 
just about six minutes. Good to have you with us this afternoon. Bombers on the 48-hour road trip, if you will. A win over Liberty last night, 72-58 to get to 8-3 and three on the year. Welcome inside the Ron LB Auto Sales pregame show. Good to have you with us. Let us know where you're watching from in the chat below. We'll check the roll call in just a little bit. And we are on YouTube again as well if you do want to cast your TV this afternoon. 5.40 until this one gets underway. Let's meet our Ron LB Auto Sales starting lineups. Coach Soto's got a nice win over Southeastern. We'll... See him at the holiday tournament here in a couple weeks. Good to see him up here. Let's meet the Ron Elbiano Sales starting lineups. First for the Bombers of Argenta Oriana. They'll start at a guard. Number two, 5'10 senior, Jalen Flowers. A 5'8 junior guard, three, Tyson Ors. A 5'10 senior guard, 12, Ethan Mahan. A Six foot senior forward, 30, Chase Logue. And in the middle, 34, a 6'2 senior forward, Ryan Lawson. They are coached by Clay Harburg, and he's assisted by Ron Hauser and David Hines. And for the visiting Bombers, they will be in the, or excuse me, they will be the home team on the scoreboard. They are going to be in the whites. Argenta Oriana will be in the uh, blue and orange. For the hometown, uh, home team on the scoreboard, the Bombers of Macomb. They'll start at point guard, a junior, number one, Drew Watson. Second guard, five, Malachi Conley. Third guard, junior, 12, Braden Holthouse. Forward, senior, number 20, Ian Case. And down low, they'll start at center, a senior, number 10, Dion Doyle. Jeremy Anderson heads up the Bomber bench, assisted by Brian Langworthy, Zach Keen, and Justin Ellison. Bombers uh, shorthanded today on the staff. Coach Keen and the freshmen are over in Bushnell today playing in the Bushnell uh, shindig over there. They had a couple games uh, there this morning. Junior high boys basketball is at the middle school today and then the varsity team is here in Abingdon. So full day of bomber hoops all over. The girls play uh, here tonight as well. They will play around the 7.30 hour and they will play the uh, last game of the Great Western Shootout today as they'll play the hometown Tornadoes of A-Town. Full day of bomber hoops and it's the Bombers, and it's the Bombers. How about that? Bombers, the uh, only three teams in the state of Illinois with the Bombers nickname. That is uh, Macomb, Argenta Oriana, and Williamsfield, all three with the mascot Bombers. And uh, I was talking to Reed Kelso, the athletic director over here, and he said that he uh, didn't realize when they were putting together the tournament uh, that it was Bombers, Bombers. So a lot of Bombers in the house this afternoon. Got to be a fun one. Three minutes until the opening tap of this one. We'll be back with more from Abingdon Avon High School, A-Town High School. From the Great Western Shootout, it's the Ryan Albiato Sales pregame show. Bombers and the Bombers next on the BSN. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, Things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just a game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. 
Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. Ron Elbiano Sales pregame show from Abington High School, A Town. And we're getting ready for the Great Western Shootout, game number two, or game three, rather. Uh, in the last game, Monmouth Roseville taking care of business over a Southeastern team that. Um, that, you know, people have kind of said they're down, but really a nice ball game from them. We're going to meet the starting lineups here shortly. The clock about 37 seconds away until we get this thing uh, underway. Marty Lozier and the Farmington Farmers have arrived to the gym. They'll play uh, in the game after this one, but a full day of basketball here. Bomber girls are going to be here tonight as well. They'll play again around the 7.30 hour. Uh, they'll close the shootout out, and they'll play the hometown Tornadoes of Abingdon. Jeremy Anderson, uh, kind of a homecoming for him, if you will. Coached the uh, A-Town Tornadoes for a handful of years before coming to Macomb back in 2012. So he uh, gets to come up here and see a lot of familiar faces, and certainly always a fun day. Again, the starting lineups for the Bombers of Argenta Oriana. They will start Jalen Flowers, Tyson Ors, Ethan Mahan, um, Chase Laug, and Ryland Lawson, and then Macomb going with their typical lineup of Drew Watson, Malachi Conley, Dion Doyle, Braden Holthouse, and Ian Case. The officials for today's game, Brad Gooding, J.D. Beal, and Tony Ware. Bombers of Argenta, Oriana in the uh, blue and orange, Florida blue, if you will, Florida colors of the orange and blue. Bombers will be in their home whites with the orange and black trim on the sides. Quick turnaround after getting home late last night. I think the Bombers bus got home around 10 o'clock, and then it was a 9.30 bus this morning to leave for A-Town, and a quick turnaround indeed. Bombers did take care of business on the road, led by Braden Holthouse's 22-point game with seven three balls. Bombers took care of business 72-58 over Liberty. Let's get ready to get underway. Bombers and the Bombers. And we're ready to get underway. It'll be Dion Doyle along with 34, Ryland Lawson at center court. Brad Gooding, J.D. Beal, Tony Ware in the stripes. Doyle Lawson at center court. We're ready to get rocking and rolling. Strap yourselves in, folks. This is Macomb Bomber Basketball on the Bombers Sports Network. Up and underway, Bombers will control the opening tap and move from our left to right as we see it from the deck at Eight Town High School. First possession crucial and key to the game last night. We talked about uh, getting the Bombers back on the boards. They did indeed. Great game rebounding and uh, playing to their potential. That's what they have to do again today. Big day tomorrow. They'll find out who they play at the holiday tournament in the bracket reveal show. Three ball Connolly on the way off the back iron. Won't go. And that is staved by the Bombers of Argenta Oriana. And they will get there for the first possession at the game. Still scoreless. First quarter action. From A Town. Oars with a drive, kicks back outside, finds Logue. Tapped by Doyle, saved by the Bombers of Argenta. In the lane, toss up. Case trying to get a hand on it. Watson, oh, he tried to save it off his hand, and that is out of bounds. Logue with it in the corner, kicks back outside, finds Oars in the lane. And that's a traveling violation. Bombers will get it up here. Coach Tanner Scott is with us this afternoon. Hello. Long time. Uh, Macomb Bomber, there's a shot up by Doyle, won't go, puts back in on oh. the board. Glad to be here, Justice. Great day to watch a little basketball. Great Western shootout, get out of the house. Perfect. Doyle gets the Bombers on the board. Tander Scott uh, played for Coach Taylor. Long That's time correct. Ago. Yeah, Sean Taylor. Long time ago. Yeah, so Bomber through and through. Down low for... Argenta, they'll kick back outside. Bombers playing good defense here early, trying to get a couple different steals. One turnover 
as we hit the six-minute mark. About two minutes into this game, 2-0 McComb off a Doyle layup. Argenta tries to answer it the other way, won't go. Conley on the rebound, ahead the other way. In for Watson to the free throw line. Doyle, case for three, off the back, won't go. Doyle's there to put it back up and in, and Dion Doyle's got all four points for McComb. Good rebound there, put back. Dion, he's active on the boards. Always helps when you got the big man out there. Absolutely. So Doyle gets the baskets for McComb. Pull up from the free throw line, won't go for Flowers. Holthouse on the rebound. 22 points from Holthouse last night. Nice game from him, and there's a foul underneath. They'll say no basket. And it will be McComb out of bounds. First team foul for Argenta. Ethan Mahan, his first team first of the quarter. Holthouse with it in the corner. Thoughts about a three, didn't take it. Doyle down low case, taps it to Conley in the corner. Conley thought about firing a three ball, didn't take it. Bombers will move it around here. Coach Anderson will direct traffic from the bench. Doyle to Case. Ooh, off, didn't even get it to the rim, and that will be back to Argenta. Good look there, a little high-low action. Good look indeed. Good look. Argenta will bring it up the floor. Have you ever had a game where it's Bombers, Bombers? Now, you know what, I was just going to say it's the Battle of the Bombers. Wow. You make a history lesson out of this. As I say, you don't see... Two teams with the same mascot battled out wow. very often. Yeah. Mahan with it at the top of the key at the tornado. Tapped by Holthouse. Holthouse steals it. Ahead he goes to the basket. Up and in. Six-nothing run by the Bombers to get this thing started. You never, know how, you never know how your team's going to come out at a noon contest on a Saturday. You don't know. You never know. You get up. Hopefully everybody keeps the same routine. Especially after a Friday night game before, Absolutely. too. Late night last night. Get to home, get to bed, and get back up and at it. Quick turnaround. Three ball won't go for Ethan Mahan. Conley on the rebound. The fast man. And Watson wasn't ready for it. Coach Kelso was ready to grab it. Maybe fire a three there from the I'll tell you doorway. What, as much yellow as old Coach Kelso's got on. I thought he worked for the state there for a while. <laughs> I thought I had a new employee. He is very between bright the, today. Between the yellow shoes and the yellow top. I dot has got a new employee. <laughs> Top of the key now for Argenta. They'll move it around the outside perimeter. Down low, toss up, won't go for Logue. And Doyle and Conley on the rebound. 340 to play, opening quarter, 6-0. Bombers, nice start from them after a late night last night, responding well here this morning. Where they go? It looks like a little 2-3 zone. Change it up a little bit. They see they can slow them down a bit. Corner now. They'll get to nice. Doyle underneath. And Very nice. Doyle answers again. Doyle's playing well this morning. He is. That, that look might be open the whole night, whole day if nothing changes. Logan, the corner, down low. Holt House trying to grab it. He did before it hit the line underneath. Conley drive, free throw line, kicks out. Doyle to a wide open case. Good. And hot yes. potato down there, fast oh. pace, and that will be, I'll say, Argenta basketball tipped off the hands of Holthouse. Well, I will say, Justice, they're, they're trying to move the ball, trying to find gaps. That's what you got to do against the zone. Absolutely. Definitely keep it moving. 2.55 to go, 8 nothing. McComb leading in the Bombers right now here at the Great Western Shootout. Bombers played a talented skills mound team here last year who uh, ended up going to state at the end of the year. Great team coached by uh, Coach K, and he will be, they will be in the building a little bit later today. I thought I saw they play Fulton, maybe? Yes, that sounds right. Trying to find a schedule here. Um, doesn't look like they put a schedule in here. I want to say it's a uh, late, later game. Yes, that sounds right. I thought I saw. Well, we've got uh, the cheerleader herself, no, uh, Nora Hogue over there in the orange and black. Indeed. the Bombers. Front row, pom-poms and all. Leg kicks. She's got it all. Top of the key, Holt House feeds corner Bishop as we hit the two-minute mark here shortly. Doyle from the free throw line. They triple team him. Corner now. Watson for three. He got it. Tell you what, Justice, they're moving the ball well. 
They are. Great ball movement from the Bomber team. That's Nallon Thompson State Farm three ball. And they count it, they will. Jalen Flowers gets the Bombers on the board. Well, just I didn't know much about Argena Oriana coming into this. I was a good friend of mine, Brent Maynard, was telling me they're over by Decatur, but tried to get a little bit on them coming this way, but he wasn't sure. So kind of nice to see him. About a two-hour road trip for them, a little over two hours on a bus. I was talking to their head coach, Clay Harburg, and he said it was about two hours, 15 minutes on the bus this morning. So okay. kind of an early start to the day. Not too bad, but that's Doyle getting up there, getting a nice one to drop. But, uh, yeah, about two hours, 15 minutes. And then uh, Coach Harburg's wife is actually from Lewiston, he said. So we so got some, knows this area well. Toss-up is no good, and that will be out of bounds staying with Argenta. 123 to go, opening quarter, Bombers 13, Argenta 2. Battle of the Bombers here this, this afternoon. We're just afternoon now here in A-Town. Good with it. He'll kick top of the key and find Logue. Logue drives. Back on the outside, good ball movement. Toss up from the free throw line. That one will drop. That was a nice pull up. Nice pull up there. Ethan Mahan on that one. His first basket of the game, 13-4. Minute to play in the first quarter. Still in the zone. Holt Let's Hounds. see what happens here. Holt House looking, guarded. My oars over there, back to Watson at the top, 40 seconds to play. Holthouse for three, hit seven of them last night. That one won't go. Rebound Argenta, they'll take it the other way, 30 seconds to play. Oh, Ooh, swiped away by the Bombers. Holthouse will pick it up. Fast-paced game, both teams kind of going what. at it. Yeah, just get out and go. Get the cobwebs out. Let's get moving. 13-4, Bombers should have the last possession of this first quarter. Taking me about a good 30 minutes just to get warmed up, and get up and down the court. <laughs> Nine That'd seconds here. Corner, Holt House drives. Good pass. Look, great pass. Doyle puts it up and in at the buzzer. Argento will get a toss up, won't go. That's how we end quarter number one. It's 15 4. Bombers with the lead over Argento Oriana. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Bombers Sports Network. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just a game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Quarter number two commencing from A-Town High School, A-Town, Illinois. Good to have everybody with us. Viewers from all over this morning from Adair, Illinois. Leon Groover in Canton. Good afternoon, Leon. Good to have you with us. And uh, Kansas City, Missouri, Carthage, Illinois. Six, uh, six miles south of Macomb as well. Viewers from Bowen, Illinois. Lazy Boy Central in Macomb. Macomb Middle School, Adair, Car Chicago, Macomb. Lincoln, Illinois. Carthage, Illinois. And uh, Coach Scott, you got any viewers? Wow, we've got an assortment out there. Oh, I know we've got, some, uh, got somebody in North Carolina, Coach Kreps. Indeed. There's I know we've got uh, right from Dudley Street, uh, I'm sorry, Randolph Street, Coach Kelly Sears. Uh, he's probably got a boomerang wrench and thinking about what he's going to do with it. Coach Kreps probably out kicking field goals, getting ready for the next fresh soft football game practice. There is Hogue won't go. Argenta takes it the other way. You always get the viewers on your 
Justice. Keep doing a good job. This is what, you know, it, it, all, it took off kind of in COVID, didn't it? It did. People and, didn't uh, want to go out and have found emotions. You say we were in the gym during that season. It's kind of unique we where it's say about 20 people in the gym. And That's right. Yeah. Just very, uh, just unique season. It was. That foul was charged to Malachi Conley. It's his first personal team first of the quarter. And Argenta gets the ball back. 15-6 Bombers. 6.55 to go. Second quarter, first half. A traveling violation called on the far side of the floor. You know, Justice, I hope we never go back to that. That, yeah. was, that, was, that, was, that was tough. It was. Just tough couple of years there and just uh, didn't really feel like sports at the no, time. No, it didn't. That ball's turned over by the, the Bombers, but uh, Argenta Bombers will turn it over again. Wide open case up and good. Ian Case on the board. 17-7. And a foul underneath. That looked like me trying to get one of my kids when they're out of control. <laughs> Running up and down the hallway. Case charged with the foul, his first team second. Underneath for the Bombers here of Argenta. Conley's there. Kick to the corner, three ball on the way. Oars won't go off the front of the rim. Rebound, Ian Case. He'll bring it back the other way from a comb. Feed up to Braden Holthouse. Holthouse to the outside, finds Conley. Conley looks, finds Hogue to Doyle, or excuse me, that's Case. Case pulls up, won't go. Rebound, Flowers. He'll take it the other way now. Six minutes to go. And Case will feed to Watson to bring it across the tornado at midcourt. 5.50 to play. 17-6. Bombers in control this one. Pull up three. Conley. Oh, bang. Got that one. You know, he's played, he's played some good basketball this year, Justin. He has. He gets after it on defense. And he's fast. He is. I mean, just. Yes, he is. It makes me tired just watching him. Yes. Nice three ball there, courtesy of Conley. That's an Allen Thompson three ball and a full timeout called on the floor. We'll take one real quick as well. This is McComb Bomber Basketball on the Bomber Sports Network. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official officiating was part of our family life it wasn't just the game you get to be outside you get to like experience the game it's so much more fun you can get a lot out of it if you're an athlete we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating to help me become not only a better official but a better person it happens in every town in every game we never have a perfect game but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. A-Town High School in A-Town, Illinois, the Great Western Shootout 2023. Good afternoon to everybody tuning in with us. Bombers in control of this one, and a really nice start for them. Great start. Great start. Right out of the gate. 22-6, they lead Argenta Oriana, the Battle of the Bombers here. In you know, we, we need to get that. We need to talk to Mr. Ryan Wilson. Get that on the uh, history trick. Yes. Battle of the Bombers. The Battle of the Bulge. We can get, tie that in. There's Holt House to go and put it in. 22 6. Top of the key now for Flowers. Flowers with the dribble. Setting things up. Case with the steal, and he'll kind of relax things and feed to Holdhouse, who will set it up on the other side of the floor. 4.50 to play, 22-6. Down low, there is Case. Missed it off the front of the rim. Just finding the gaps, Justice. Toss-up won't go from Flowers. Rebound Doyle. Quick push ahead to Doyle. Two on one. 
uh, Bishop tried to get it to go. There's Doyle to put it back up and in. Bombers the are getting, ball well, Justice. getting on the boards, too. I'll tell you what. Yes, absolutely they are. Doyle puts it up and in, 24 to 6. Now top of the key for Flowers. Flowers feeds to the corner. And find Oars. In the lane, Flowers up and good. Twenty-four to eight, three fifty-five to go in the first half here at A-Town. Case in the corner feeds to Conley, who will bring it up to Holthouse, top of the key. Down low free throw line, tapped out of the Bombers' hands of McComb, the McComb variety. Three ball, Conley again. Justice, this is a, a clinic here. Malachi Conley, two three balls. Getting it moving. You know, they always say, get the zone moving. 27, doing it. indeed, 27-8 now. Uh, you can't do that. There's a foul called. That two's a good little player. Yeah, he is. Gets right to the basket, yes, knows does. the floor. Well, we've got Rich Fowler to the left. The man, the myth, the legend, Rich Fowler on the, on the camera. camera. I'll tell you what, decked out in the bomber, orange, black pants. He is... Good asset for the Bomber basketball program. 3.20 to go, 27-8. The Bombers of the McComb variety in control of this one, as Mr. Hewlett would say. Corner their free ball on the way. Won't go off the front of the rim. Oh, nice Ahead. oh Doyle's got this it. Slam be. it. Yes. Well, we knew it was coming. Fast break, we knew it was coming. Nice play there by Doyle, the first slam dunk of this one, 29-8. You know, Justice, I'm st I, even in high school, I st I was one of the few. I, I didn't know if the rim was metal or if it was plastic. <laughs> Never get up that high. Must be nice. It's metal, Rich? Okay. Puts it up and in. That was number 12, Ethan Mahan. He's got six. 29-10. McComb will reset on the other side. Corner Case. Almost thought he could take a three. They'll get it back to Case. Now he can take the three. And he got it. Oh. Bang. Case. Allen Thompson, State Farmer, McComb. Three ball from Ian Case. He has five now. How many threes is that? Is that uh, one, two, three, four. Four? Four threes. Yeah. I don't know we had five, but it'll be four. Shooting well, all things are clicking right now. Ethan Mahan will drive free throw line, pull up jumper, won't go. Tapped around, grabbed by Case. Case will bring it up the other way. Watson to Case. There's that look. Bishop for three. Why not? Bang! Join the party, Connor Bishop. Allen Thompson, State Farm three ball from. Connor Bishop, this is McCombs' petition to bring back the uh, three-point shootout in the I'll postseason. Tell you what, dude, you'd have some contenders. Unbelievable! Last two games, three balls been working. 35-10, minute 23 to go in the first half. That is out of bounds back to Argenta, and here comes Cooper Hobson. Dion Doyle will get a rest. No, Justice, could you, would you say, could the half have started any better? I'd say, I mean, everything's clicking, and then, you know, once you get a few shots to go, it just, everything keeps Contagious, going. Contagious, isn't it? Yes. That'll be knocked out of bounds. Stay with uh, Argenta. Minute 11 to go in the first half. McComb, 35, Argenta, 10. Full day of basketball here in A-Town. That's Great Western shootout. Foul on the side of the floor. Who do we think, Justice? What? After t this game, who's what's the game to watch? Uh, Farmington and Farmington is up next. I do have, a, I think I have a schedule on my phone. No, I saw it. There we go. We got toss up, no good from Argenta. They'll kick back outside. They're off to the races. Shot up, no good. Rebound Argenta, Farmington and Sherrard, 130. That ought to okay. be a pretty good game. Farmington Battle of the purple and gold. Exactly. 
Toss-up is good as Ethan Mahan goes to the basket and scores. 35 seconds left in this first half. And then after that, we have Scales Mount and Fulton. That'll, That'll be, be a great game. Um, Illini Bluffs Rock Ridge at 430. Oh, okay. Another good one. You know, Justice, I'm going to just make this a day. I said that. I, I my uh, wife and kids went to my in-laws today in Carthage. and go look, go look at Christmas, Christmas lights, lights tonight. Yep. And at one time, I, we had tossed around the idea of maybe getting like a, I don't know, a whole group getting like a bus, activity bus or something like that, kind of like that idea and go look, but that never panned out, so... I'm coming to basketball. Three ball won't go, and that is how the first half comes to an end. All systems go from McComb. Coming into this one, 35-12. Great first half from the Bombers. Excellent first. I don't think it could have been any better. No. I mean, everything's clicking, and then three balls are dropping. Uh, we'll talk about the schedule here really quick the rest of the day. So she got Sherrard and Farmington following this one. Scales Mount and Fulton about 3 o'clock. Rockridge IB at 430. A-Town Pace and Seymour oh. at 6. The boys. And that ought to be halfway decent of a game. And then the girls. And then eight town girls in Macomb. Oh. So really not a bad game the rest of the afternoon. I forgot they do that. The Macomb boys play, the yep. Macomb girls play back to back. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Reed Kelso is going to talk to us shortly on the halftime show. We'll take a quick break here and then be back is, with Coach Kelso. Is he cleared by IDOT to do that? <laughs> He's very bright today. A lot I'll of tell you what, yellow. For, for driver's ed safety, man, he could. <laughs> that is about as reflective as it gets. We'll take a short break back with Coach Kelso on the halftime show after this. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Shop local. Shop Macomb. Back at A-Town High School with uh, Coach Reed Kelso. He's the AD at, uh, here in A-Town and uh, former Macomb Bomber as well. Once a Bomber, always a Bomber. Uh, first off, this is always a fun day of basketball. It never gets old at the Great Western it Shootout. It is a fun day. Uh, it's a day I look forward to uh, every year. Uh, we did the girls' shootout this year, so we're excited to get the boys, and we got some really good matchups. Indeed, and you got Farmington and Girard after this. Um, kind of talk about the process of when you're putting games together, getting teams in. What's that look like for you guys? Uh, so I usually try to get like eight or nine local schools, and then I kind of go, I, I kind of go try to get some schools that I know are going to be good. Try to go big game hunt and try to get some schools. I know next year we got a really good lineup coming back, some new schools. Uh, so yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Can you give us any hints on who's coming next year? They're in the top five of the one A or two A bracket. Okay, two so, They're both in the top five. But always, so always, uh, event to look forward to each year on the calendar. Um, Macomb. Taking care of business right now at the halftime break, 35-12. Reed Kelso is with us. Talk about kind of um, being in your role as the athletic director and what's that like. And, um, you know, obviously spending time in education important. But, you know, what, what's it look like for you as an AD? Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty busy. I, don't te I teach two classes and the rest of the day is ADs. Just a lot of scheduling. Uh, you know, it's a big event. We, have, we provide shirts and everything, and I'm a one-man band, so I sure. just got to do it all. Uh, I had my son here yesterday helping me uh, last night setting up, so it's just like that. But, you know, it's, it, it's, you gotta, I think with the shootout, you got to turn over your teams every year, try to keep the local teams, and try to bring Absolutely. in some schools you don't, you don't normally see. Like, McComb's never going to see Argento or Sure. So uh, just, just that, just trying to bring in schools. Uh, pretty busy this time of year. I, uh, my wife's looking forward to next week and me being off. I know that. I, I bet, indeed. So the Great Western Shootout is obviously longstanding, but something new you guys did this year was, uh, was last weekend. Yep. was the girls' shootout all day long. Um, kind of talk about how that came to be and kind of uh, what that looked like. Yeah, so uh, we talked last year about, you know, maybe adding some girls to the – more girls games the great western and I, I really didn't want to do that so i was like i'm just gonna start my own weekend the weekend before uh the boys and i went out and just kind of same with the boys got a couple local schools and i went out and got some really good big big schools and i know next year like for the girls we're bringing in some really really good schools again 
And then uh, McComb played, again, a talented Morton yep. squad. And um, just good games all day long for you guys. So holiday tournament's coming up in Macomb. And uh, obviously it's an exciting time. Um, kind of talk about, you know, what's that like for you as a fan to come down over Christmas and, yeah. and get to watch some good games over there? Yeah, you know, I've been going since I was a little kid to the holiday tournament. So I'm really looking forward to You know, it's a great tournament. Uh, I enjoy not being the one in charge, not having to run it. <laughs> But I enjoy coming, talking to everybody, talking to all the ADs and coaches here. Uh, it's kind of the same thing, and just seeing where everybody is. Uh, I always have some changes I like to make to the holiday tournament, but Sure, we'll see. So a, uh, the bracket show, obviously, tomorrow yep. with uh, Dwayne. Dwayne's up here doing the game with us today, and good partnership with him in the holiday tournament. And uh, Coach Kelso, fun fact, his mom, longtime teacher at Macomb High School as well. Yes. She was my uh, seventh grade English teacher, yes. best teacher, I've, one of the best I've ever had, and uh, it was always fun in her classroom. Um, all I knew was that, what kind of inspired you to get into education? Uh, well, my, it was my mom being a teacher. Uh, you know, I worked for my father on a farm and sure. decided to go back to education, so that's where I'm at. I, I like sports. I like being AD. Uh, going back to get my master's in education and leadership, so I'd like to be a full-time AD or maybe dean of students, but yeah, just who doesn't my like mom. To watch, who doesn't like to watch games all day? Well, so that's, I mean, that's a perk of it. Yeah, absolutely. Get, get work at some good absolutely. Games. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I mean, I enjoy coming to the games and everything. And we have a really good good, good community here, good school. And I think we put on a good shootout. All right, Reed Kelso, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Justice. Always appreciate the time. We'll be back with more from the Great Western Shootout on the Halftime Show presented by our friends at Ride LB Auto Sales. Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Alan Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyymca.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA, McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years older. Brown Shoe Fit of Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. Westside Lumber of Macomb. Located at 1301 West Jackson Street in Macomb, Illinois. Shop base hardware for your grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn, and garden tools. Westside Lumber, your helpful hardware place. Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Pumo Insurance Agency. Let their friendly, experienced, and knowledgeable staff help you find the best coverage for your needs. Whether it be home, auto, life, agriculture, individual, or group insurance, they've got you covered. Pumo Insurance, 19 East Side Square in Macomb. First Bankers Trust Company, where customers are always first. Proudly serving the communities of Quincy, Menden, Carthage, Rushville, and Macomb, along with Springfield, and adjacent counties in Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. The best financial service company in the market.
we're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just a game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Second half is underway here from A-Town High School in A-Town, Illinois. Good to have everybody with us this afternoon for the Great Western Shootout 2023. Case turns up, and that one won't go. Rebound ahead the other way. Top of the key for Argenta, 35-12 is the score at the start of the third. Bank shot up and good. For Ethan Mahan. 35-14 now. Holt House with it. Feeds corner. Watson to Doyle down low. Back to Watson. Watson to Case. Top of the key. Conley with it, looking down low, looked for Doyle, couldn't get him. It will stay with McComb. And McComb out of bounds here. Conley with it. Three ball up, it's good. Malachi Conley again with a three ball. Justice, I don't think we've missed much today. We have not, just can't wow. miss. 6.19 to go, third quarter, 38-14 now. In the lane, toss-up, no good from Flowers. He'll get two free throws, though. Be on Cooper Hobson. Second personal the correction, no. Three on Malachi Conley. Justice, I like number two. He's a good little player. He is. He goes to the basket hard. And he's trying to make some stuff happen. I know they're kind of uphill battle right now, but. Makes them both. Jalen Flowers goes two of two. Doyle down low, tosses up, no good. Tapped around, grabbed by Argenta. Corner now for Ethan Mahan. Back top of the key. 38-16. That will be out of bounds, staying with Argenta. Bombers in control of this one at the Great Western Shootout 2023-38-16. Good to have you with us this afternoon. Afternoon basketball, matinee basketball, here on the BSN 1245 in the afternoon. Fold egg here at A-Town. Toss up no good from Chase Logue. They'll take it the other way. Case to Holt House completes the play up and good. Nice play there. Good look there. Justice, you couldn't even go to a you couldn't even go to the movie theater for Less than it costs to get in here. <laughs> I mean, you know, $6, get to watch basketball all day. I don't even know what the matinee costs anymore. They're way too expensive for us. There's a foul called. Got a little issue down there. 
I think the frustration is getting the coach down there just as we think. Yep, I think so. That will be on Drew Watson, number one for McComb. It's his first team second. Kind of getting frustrated, kind of like when somebody, oh, good move. It's kind of like somebody when somebody grabs uh, Coach Sears' boomerang wrench or <laughs> in the uh, ag shop, can't find it. You know, Justice, that might have been one of my best Cook Sears stories, that boomerang. You ever heard that story? I have heard that story. Okay, I'm not going to say it's too long on the air, but it is quite the story. Drew Watson gets it up and in. That one won't go from Ryland Lawson, but he'll get some free throws. That will be on Ian Case, his second, team third. And it will send Lawson to the line. You said Dad's freshman game today? Yes. Where are they? Uh, they are in Bushnell. They play two games over oh, there. Oh, is that that Bushnell tournament? Yep. Well, I may just stop back by through there on the way back. Uh, no, I nope. probably got to pay to get in. I'm well, they're, I think they're going to be done by the time they were starting. Or they were, I think, noon. Okay. So I think they're going to be done by the time we're done here. I wasn't interested that much to pay. I know that. 42-20 <laughs> our score here. Nice pass. And Case gets it to go. Forty-four twenty, four oh eight to play. Third quarter action here from Abingdon. Argenta moves the ball around pretty well. They do. I mean, they good ball movement. They do. They're trying, you know. I just I think they're just out, outmatched, yep. obviously. Turn around, toss up, no good from Lawson. He'll get some more free throws. And how about that? Same free, th same uh, free throw shooter, and then the foul is on the same person. Case gets his. Uh, that doesn't happen today. Obviously. No, third personal, or yeah, third personal team fourth. And Lawson makes the first one. And go one step further and say it happened in the game played by two teams. With the same mascot. Was talking to Dwayne Hewlett at uh, halftime. He said there are only three schools that have Bombers as their mascots. So we're looking at two-thirds of them right now. Two-thirds. I, th I thought you said three yeah. in the state. Does that sound right? Yep, three teams in the state. Okay. Two of them are right here in front of us. Williamsfield, Argenta, and McComb. Wow. Corner three ball, Watson off the rim. A foul. Oh, going to go the other way. That might be the first three McCombs missed. I think it was. It looked good from up here. It did. That'll be on Doyle. Reach too much. First personal team. Yep, that's going to be the fifth team foul. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. I think I was just shots. making sure it was fifth. I'll shoot bonus now. What was your plan? To yell down there and correct them? I don't have the energy for that. Uh, so it will send Lawson. I'm not. We'd probably send Rich down there. Yeah. Send Lawson to the line again. He is four of four. How about five of five? Oh, off the front of the rim. Cooper Hobson comes back in the ball game. Second one, he got it. 44-23 now. Five of six from the line for 34. I'd be pleased with that. Yeah. 44-23, and that's stolen away. All right. Oh, swatted away wow. by Doyle. And now Holthouse goes one-on-one -on -one to the basket, swings over to Conley. Look. Conley, oh, up, no good, but he gets some free throws in the end. I'm just impressed the, the moving the ball, Justice, the passing. Probably good for us, just yeah. making us, you know, in the zone, making us move the ball, and you know you're going to run into that throughout the year. And free throw from Conley is up and good, 45-23. Second one is good as well, two of two, Conley. 
Justice, let's ask the real question. Are you ready for finals? Of course. Been studying? Yes. Okay. Busy week next week. Busy week. Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, finals. One on Monday, and then... Um, what are we doing? We're doing evens on Monday. Yep. Odds Tuesday, and then eighth hour no, no, and no. makeups. Uh, yeah, evens Monday. That's right. So uh, Monday, Even odd, and then po political science on Monday for me, and then oh. Tuesday is uh, Mr. Brown's math final. Okay. And then as well as as there's a toss up from Watson that will go. It's good. And then a PE final, and then closing out with some El Spanol with uh, Senora Hamer right on Wednesday. That toss. Oh, nice play. that was a nice great move. play. I'm telling you what, he's tough, Justice. He is just a good, hard-nosed player. Score and a foul there from Flowers, 48-25 now. And that one will drop, 48-26. You really wouldn't know it's this big of a lead for McComb because, I mean, both teams are just going at it right now. They are. I would say uh, you have to, I mean, as, as of thus far, you've got to give it to our Argento Oriana. They haven't let haven't, up any at all. No. Holt House so, tosses one up, and there's our first jump ball of the contest. Argento basketball. What do you think, Justice? Is that a thing that's, you know, different these days? Teams, you, you, sometimes, you know, they're ready to play. Sometimes they're not. But I think day in and day out, if you can do it, regardless of the outcome, it's going to help you down the road. Absolutely. Holt House will bring it up across the Tornado logo at mid-floor. Two minutes to play, third quarter, 48-26. Bombers taking care of business in Abingdon. Dion wants it, doesn't he? He does. He's open. Uh, Watson will take the three off the back iron. No good. Oh, he's good luck by two. He was open. I don't think he knew it was coming. Hold house, top of the key with it. Minute and a half to play in quarter number three. Good take, Drew. Damian Jude with it. The foul, his first personal team second. Not a lot of fouls from uh, Argenta. Played a pretty clean game. So, Justice, give us the rundown of tomorrow. Big day with the uh, holiday tournament reveal. Party. It is. Um, yeah, holiday tournament bracket comes out tomorrow. Uh, we'll be with you on TSSR, me and Dwayne Hewlett, just after 4.30. And, you know, really, we saw a Southeastern team that has kind of been under the radar. And, with you know, just looking at the record, they hung right with Mom of Roseville. Mom of Roseville's got a good team. They can yeah. shoot the ball pretty well. Um, be a good tournament. So, yeah, I think this year's tournament, you know, it feels like we say it every year, this tournament will be the best year, but really this tournament pretty loaded this year. It is, and definitely. Uh, going to be, be a fun. fun. Going to be a fun three days. And we close it out on a Saturday, so hopefully some big crowds on that last day. Absolutely. Come uh, championship day. Yeah. So tomorrow's the bracket reveal. Yep. Free ball. Okay. Holt House won't go. You got Johnny McKee, Brian Kerr yep. doing good things up there. You know, the only thing I could say, if they were listening, to make this even better tomorrow was have a dollar wings. There you go. Justice, I don't think I'd leave. <laughs> I think they'd lose some money for me if that was the case. There is Watson. I don't know if he thought he was going to make that one, but the floater will work anyway. 51-26. Pull-up jumper on the way. Won't go off the back iron for Jude. Back out top of the key for Mayhan. Three won't go. Rebound Holthouse. Wide open Bishop. Oh, that was interesting. Oh. Like somebody lost a contact, maybe. Oh, dear.
poked in the eye or lost to contact either way. Justice, have you ever had those dollar wings? They're pretty good. Oh, my. Wow. You get lost in those things. Brian Kerr and Johnny do a great job running Sports Corner since they've uh, taken it over. Do a great job. I'll be up there uh, tomorrow for the bracket reveal and then every Monday for the Downtown Athletic Club. They always oh, yeah. do a good job with the meal there. So good yeah. people and do a great job. Good stuff. You know, maybe that's the way I, why I look the way I do. Too much, uh, <laughs> too many dollar wings. Now will be charge two. Connor Bishop, it's the second. Ethan Mahan is at the line for Argenta. 53-26, second one is no good. Rebound hops in, and that will be another jump ball. Got to get in there. Cooper, getting in there. 7-2 left. You always like to be aggressive on that, but that's just one of those things with seven seconds left, you know you're not getting the ball up to get in the right. corner anymore. Not much going. So now Watson will go to the basket, kick corner, hold for three. Oh, no man. good. That was good luck. Good luck indeed. 53-26 after three quarters in the books here. Eight Town High School will be back with the finale after this on the Bomber Sports Network. Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber Athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyymca.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA in McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years or older. We're ready to get rocking and rolling for quarter number four from the Great Western Shootout 2023. Last quarter of basketball here. Argenta taking the possession arrow after the jump ball by McComb at the seven-second mark of quarter three. Argenta still playing hard in this one, not backing down by any means as that one will be tapped. Case tried to hustle 40. Oh, almost hopped into some people's laps over there. Top of the key for Flowers now. Flowers kicks, finds Oars. Back to the corner, seven and a half, about 30 seconds into this Fourth quarter. Corner now. Lawson with it. Doyle off his shoulder to Drew Watson. Pop pass to Doyle. Doyle takes it up, misses it. Z is there to put it back up. Nope, Doyle there. Third time's not oh. the charm. And now you just. Uh, okay, yeah, jump ball. Old Z pin in there. Yes. I like it. So back to McComb underneath their own basket. That always helps. Doyle, turnaround won't go. Rebound Case. Conley flings one up, won't go off the rim. Wasn't really a shot. I think it was just more of trying to get rid of it. 6.55 left. Do believe Bombers have just about a week off. I don't believe they don't play next week except for Friday. They'll play Cannon at home. Be only their second home game of the year. We're at home next week. We are at home next week, finally. Flowers gets one to drop. And that is next Friday against Canton, okay. who we saw in the first game here. Not too bad of yeah. a team. Well, so Justice, let's ask you the question. You never, you know, nobody ever interviews you. What are the plans next year? Uh, undecided yet. There's Conley for three, won't go. Undecided yet, somewhere to do communications and sports management. Oh, well. There we is, already know you can do the broadcast. Yeah. There is Case. Oh, go up. There you there go. You go. Oh, good look. 
was a good look. And Flowers. So communication. Does that incorporate broadcast? I mean, is that? Yes. Uh, okay. Not sure where we're going to go. Yep. Are we gonna, still going to have you around Macomb, do you think? Could be. Okay. But we'll see how it kind of pans out here the next month. Will you be, do you think you'll be on the athletic department? I hope so, wherever I go. Yeah. I love Open that stuff. Out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Watson across midcourt, 5.50 to go in this one. Yeah, neither team is back down here. I mean, they're still playing, you know, hardcore basketball here for yeah. big of a lead. Nice and oars. Let them play, right, Justice? Let them go. At this point. Watson to Cooper Hobson. Down low, Hobson with it. He's double teamed. And a call foul. <laughs> okay. Moore's with it. Second personal, team fourth. Excuse me, team second. They do reset. Well, you never know, Justice. Maybe you can go get your uh, degree, get a master's, come back and teach some classes. Maybe there you like go. Like an adjunct, you know, broadcasting. Absolutely. There's definitely a need for it. I think this is – it's definitely been nice for my family to be able to watch stuff online. and Changing world good. of – Radio to Absolutely. video. There's a three ball. Yeah. Tommy. Oh, nice. Tommy for three. Oh, the bench goes wild. Love it. Toss of the other end for Mayhan. Won't go. Put back up and good. He's 630 now. Down low, tapped around, hot potato, and stays with Macomb. So what do you think, Justice? Somebody wanting to go into broadcasting, some youngster like you when you started out young, what would you say? What are some, what are some things they should do? Get involved? Get involved. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to talk to people. Make connections. Yeah. It's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Sure. And, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to try something out. You're going to make mistakes along the way. It's just part oh, of yeah. life, isn't it? Time out on the floor, Argenta. And didn't you tell me, Justice, the, the football press box, is, is, are they going to do something with it with school-related? Did you tell I me that? I think they're trying to do something school-related. I don't okay. think it's in the works. I don't know too much about it, but I think Maybe you'd be the, the poster child. For there you it. go. Look what can come out of it. Exactly. Absolutely. What were you telling me it was called? Ed the student, uh, uh, Mike Spear says it is the Student Learning Performance Broadcasting nice. Center. Be good. To Try get say that five times fast. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to decline. But, yeah, get kids a chance. If it works out. Rich, what do you think up there? Any Rich's words of wisdom? Looking good? Rich Fowler over here to our left. He is on the camera, and he's doing a great job. Good one for the program to have. Down low, put up. Flowers, good. He's a good player. I know we've said that he several is. times, really but I mean, is. he just kind of doesn't gets really. To the uh, just kind of stays under the radar yeah. and makes it happen. Four minutes to go in this one. We'll have uh, either Coach Anderson or Coach Ellison with us for the postgame show after they're done in the locker room. As There's a toss-up from Hogue. It missed it. He's laughing it off. Football-style pass to the corner. Bang from Ethan Mahan. Ethan Mahan 56-35 as Hobson will bring it up the Mid-court line, 3.40 to go. This is the time. Be ready. Oh, good move. Tommy to the nice. basket again. Once again, Bench loves it. 
And he's the leading scorer in the fourth quarter. He's got all five. Very nice. 58-35, pull-up jumper from 15. Won't go. Tommy on the rebound again. Oh. Offensive foul. He's thinking somebody stopped me. He is. He's not afraid to go to the he's basket not. right now. He's aggressive. His first team first. Brent Dugan in the house this morning. Eight town girls coach watching some basketball. Duke will get that one to go. Justice, is there anybody you don't know? Not really. You know, if all else fails, you know, you could run for mayor. There you go. You know. Mike Inman is uh, retiring here pretty soon. Is I'm he sure. really? Uh, I would assume here probably in the next probably couple at years. Some point. And two free throws coming up again. Nolan Hogue on that foul, his first team second. So, Justice, are you staying all day or are you going to? Uh, I think I'm going to stick around for the next one. I'm kind of, I always like watching Farmington. And uh, I think, you know, Sherrard, that'll be a good game. And then there are just a lot of good games there on the schedule. Games. I mean, after this. Reed's done a nice job. Yeah, some teams here. I am. Uh, I'm tempted to stay stick around for a little longer. All right. Once again, I don't know how he does it though, with all that time on the roads. <laughs> I got. The, I'll tell you what. Next time we have a lesson on road construction and maintenance areas, I'm going to have Reed come in with his flashy attire on. You got to know your road signs. You've got You have to. You have to. Safety first. Three ball. Whoa, that was deep. Almost dropped. And there's Hogue ahead to Z. Minute 50 to play in this one. Oh! oh you hurt something there. I say that was kind of a dangerous looking move. Like me getting out of bed, Justice. Wide open look the other way. Good for Moores. Well, I like it. They're just letting them play yeah. a little bit. Good move. Good move from Tommy there to Hobson off. No good, Z. There to get the rebound, no oh. good. Oh. oh, they'll save it before it goes out. That was Isaac House on the save. To hops and hops and drives, looks, finds Tommy in the corner for another one. That's going to be short. Rebound Argenta. The Bombers will take it back the other way. Toss up won't go. Rebound Hobson. And Tommy will bring it across midcourt here. 57-5 to go. 60-40. Bombers of Macomb with the lead in this one. Bang! Oh. How about that one, the Alan? The bank Th is closed. Alan but Thompson. He opened three. it back up. Good shot. Oh. Walking foul the other way. He tried to get it set there, Justice. It's a good look down here. It is. You know, Justice, I think everybody should experience this being on the air. I don't think they truly understand all you do during the <laughs> game. My gosh, you're multitasking. You got the computer over there, the scorebook. You got to talk. My gosh, this is not easy. Coach Wilson taught me how to multitask. Oh, did he? Yeah, he teaches you that in U.S. history. Well, you've you got to be ready with you that. Gotta, you got to be ready to it's go every day. It's sink or swim there, isn't it? It is. You miss a day there, you better get caught up real quick. The schedule set. It is. He does. He's got it too. I love right it. Right on a regimen. Ahead the other way, corner now. Seventeen seconds left. You just don't foul here and just kind of let him play here. That one won't go. Tapped around. Again, don't foul. And they won't. Oh. Ahead, tapped, bombers. Walk out of here, take care of business. Great game. 
Well, Justice, thanks. You bet. Appreciate it. Thanks for all you do. I hope people tell you thank you. Great at what you do. Rich, any final words? No, from Rich Fowler. All man, right. the myth, the legend. Thanks, Justice. No problem. See you later. Thanks. 63-43, Bombers take care of business. We'll update your screen there. 63-43, Shafino. Postgame show is next in the MVP award. Getting ready to be presented down on the floor by Reed Kelso, athletic director of Macomb High School. And it's going to be, I believe, Dion Doyle. All right, Dion Doyle, MVP of this one here. 63-43 postgame is next when we return on the Bomber Sports Network. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyymca.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA, McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years or older. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. Westside Lumber of Macomb. Located at 1301 West Jackson Street in Macomb, Illinois. Shop Ace Hardware for your grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn, and garden tools. Westside Lumber, your helpful hardware place. Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Pumo Insurance Agency. Let their friendly, experienced, and knowledgeable staff help you find the best coverage for your needs. Whether it be home, auto, life, agriculture, individual, or group insurance, they've got you covered. Pumo Insurance, 19 East Side Square in Macomb. First Bankers Trust Company, where customers are always first. Proudly serving the communities of Quincy, Menden, Carthage, Rushville, and Macomb, along with Springfield and adjacent counties in Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. The best financial service company in the market. We are back here at A-Town High School, A-Town, Illinois, the postgame show. Here as the Bombers wrap up a win over or Argenta Ariana and uh, take care of business um, this afternoon. 
Good to have everybody with us here from A-Town at the Great Western Shootout. Bombers take a 63-43 win over a Argenta team. Bombers on a two-game win streak, kind of flipping the script from the past few um, after losses, uh, three straight losses on the road um, to Farmington, Kiwani, and Mercer County, but uh, flipping the script with a 72-58 win over um, Liberty last night and a nice 20-point win, 63-43, over the Bombers of Argenta Oriana. Um, Bombers will be back in action next week to take on Canton, and we saw Canton here this morning. They're a nice team that um, will get up and down the floor nicely, and um, it will be a fun game indeed. I am going to... Not sure if Coach Ellison or Anderson will be back up. They're in the locker room right now. Um, but nice game from Deion Doyle. He was the game MVP, took care of business. He had 14 points and just was able to get down low and, and get shots firing and, and really found some rhythm. Next game here in Abingdon is between um, Sherrard and Farmington. Dwayne Hewlett, Mr. Hewlett on uh, TSSR Game Time Live. will cover that one if you do want to continue watching the rest of the day. He'll have the girls game for you. Um, later tonight at around 7.30 to wrap this up as well. That game gets underway in about 10 minutes. We're going to wrap things up from A-Town. Don't believe Coach Ellison or Anderson are going to be making their way up uh, for the post game. That is a wrap. Bombers take care of business on this business, 48-hour business trip. 63-43, the final score of this one. We're back with you next week at home for the first time in forever. The Bombers will be back at home to take on Canton, just their second home game of the season thus far. Final count of this one, McComb 63, Argenta Oriana 43. We'll see you next week for Justice Keen live from the 2023 Great Western Shootout. Have a great rest of the weekend. We'll be back with you on TSSR Game Time Live tomorrow to see the bracket for the holiday tournament. Good afternoon from A-Town, and we'll see you again soon. Go Bombers. Bombers take it 63-43. Good afternoon. <laughs>